everybody, it's Chris back with another review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Uh, hope today is Independence Day, and I hope that you're having a great one and a safe one. Um, <clears throat> I decided uh, I would do a special review for today, because, well, you know, one, it's Independence Day, and that means something as an American. But uh, also, I thought today was probably the best day to give this beer a chance, and I'm sure a lot of you are going to be looking and saying, wait a minute, that you were all about, all against the corporate thing. And I am, I am, believe me, I am. But uh, every once and again, you do have to sometimes sample something from, uh, uh, well, from the corporate entities. It's just, there's no way around it sometimes. And this particular one, I had to give a shot because, well, it's something special. And that is the Budweiser Freedom Reserve. I'm not sure exactly what got over. I think it's barbecue sauce we got on the uh, label here. The Budweiser Freedom Reserve Red Lager. Uh... This red lager is brewed with toasted barley grains for a slightly sweet aroma with a touch of hops, a rich caramel malt taste, and a smooth finish with the hint of molasses inspired by George Washington's recipe. Yes, in fact, this is supposed to be based upon a handwritten recipe that George Washington had among his papers. It has a 5.4 ABV. I paid $1.79 for this 12-ounce uh, bottle. Um, normally, you know, uh, as... Uh, Budweiser is an adjunct lager. That's what I would look up on BJCP. But I did instead went to Amber Lager, which is which I, I truly believe this should be. I mean, if this were an entry into a, a, a beer judging or into a, a, a home brewing contest, that's where it would be put. Uh, so uh, American law, or excuse me, Amber Lagers, uh, usually between 4.2 and 5.3 uh, ABV. This one has a 5.4. I believe, yeah, so in keeping with that, um, caramel or toasted quality, restrained bitterness, uh, low to moderate malt aroma, hop aroma, low to none, golden amber to reddish copper brown, uh, copper red, white to off white head that doesn't last, dry to grainy sweet, toasty bready, corny sweetness optional but not a fault, bitterness can increase if malt matches, light to medium mouthfeel, medium to high carbonation can be creamy, less well developed malt flavor than a Vienna lager, often with adjunct taste. Uh, I did go to uh, Untapped, discovered that two of my friends only have reviewed this. One gave it a 3.5, one gave it a 0.25. So the cumulative score between those two is a 1.63. Sorry, watching my cat uh, chase the birds. Uh, only 8,051 of us on Untapped have scored this, given it a 3.32. Beer Advocate only has five rankings, given it a cumulative score of 3.43, which is an okay rating. And Rate Beer uh, has a cumulative score of 2.99. So, there you have it. Um, there's the ins and outs of it. And as I said, yes, this is supposed to be based upon a, uh, a recipe that was found among George Washington's personal papers. Um, also, this, let's see, what is it? Folds, okay, donation of uh, $1 per case to Folds of Honor. Uh, I'm not exactly familiar with that particular um Institution, charity, uh, whatever exactly you want to call it, nonprofit. Um, my wife and I give to uh, Wounded Warriors, and uh, I encourage you if you don't give to Wounded Warriors, there are plenty of other vets organizations out there. Be sure to take care of our vets because our government isn't doing a very good job of taking care of the people who take care of us. So please do what you can for your vet, for the vets. Okay, and I'm going to climb down from my soapbox now. All right, this is pouring exactly what you would expect a red lager to look like, coppery. And we are looking at, I want to describe that as about, so oh, medium high carbonation. Not high carbonation, but medium high. Uh, let's see if you can get a view of that. Now, what you're seeing on the camera is actually pretty close to the, uh, the color of the beer itself. Uh, this foamy, off-white foamy head is nice, but I can see it quickly dissipating. I don't think this is gonna last too much longer. Go Rebels. Um, getting fruity uh, aroma out of this. I am smelling the malt, but I'm also smelling like apples, cherries, uh, raisins, just a, a fruity uh, a combination. Hmm. Well, you know, this is, uh, this is a, a, a special beer for a special occasion, so uh, happy Independence Day and cheers. Well, 
it's rather dry on the finish. Um, sorry, watching my cat bother the neighbor's window. Um, <coughs> this is uh, this is not a particularly good beer. It's not a bad beer. But it's not good. Um, I think a 2.0 is more than enough uh, for this particular beer. Um, if you want to try it, so you can say it like I did. That I want. I wanted to say that I had had uh, a beer conceived by uh, George Washington. But um, well, that was disappointing. Uh, actually, it, it really wasn't even disappointing. Come to think of it, because when you're dealing with a corporate entity, you're not expecting much. Uh, so it wasn't so much disappointing as it was, um, well, pretty much what I expected. Uh, anyway, as I said, a 2.0, I think it's, it's plenty for this, uh, it's plenty for this beer. And, uh, that's that. So, until next time, drink good beer, this ain't it. And don't break the bank doing it. Cheers.